to all the geeks and nerds out there, today I'd like to talk about kelp farming and what has changed in 1.16. And behind me you can see my brand new design for a kelp farm. This thing is pretty nuts. It produces over 130,000 kelp per hour. So <laughs> let's, let's build this thing and let's talk about what has changed in 1.16 with the kelp. And here it is, here is the kelp farm that produces over 130,000 kelp per hour. As you can see, all the kelp grows up at the front all simultaneously. All the items are broken once it reaches the top and then all the items flow over the top here on this water stream into some hoppers for storage. So that is pretty cool. And actually it's pretty small compared to the number of items you get out of that 130,000 kelp per hour. That is really cool. In addition to the big farm, I've also got this smaller one. So this one is a little nano farm, if you like. And this one has some cool features, has auto shut off. And yeah, it's pretty cool, has a light indicator too. But we'll talk about this in a bit more detail as well as the big one too. We'll show you exactly how to build that with a step-by-step -step guide. But before we do that, let's talk about kelp and a couple of things that have changed in 1.16. Before we get going with the farms and explain how they work and how to build them, let's have a quick recap on kelp and see what has changed in 1.16. So here is the kelp plant. You'll see this uh, in the oceans and this was introduced in 1.13. You can just break it with your hand and if you do, you get this item. This is a kelp item. And generally what you do with that is you will smelt it in either a smoker or a furnace. A smoker is, a smoker is faster, so uh, generally you would use that. And that would give you uh, this dried kelp block right here, this dried kelp item, should I say. This is a food source, but not many people use it as food because it's not very good but if you craft nine of these together in your crafting grid on your crafting bench then you'll get this block right here the uh the, the, the dried kelp block this is really useful for building and also for smelting this uh, this will smelt 20 items rather than coal for example that only smelts eight so that is super useful you can also put it in a composter and this will give you a 30 percent chance of increasing the level of a composter but there's a couple of things that have changed in uh, in 1.16 so first of all um you can now place it onto onto uh soul sand which you couldn't do before so generally what you would do with this is this is really useful for creating a bubble column so what we used to do is we'd have a different block here and we'd fill this with a water source at the very top so flowing water would go flow all the way down but for a bubble column you need to have water sources all the way down so then we would uh, go all the way to the bottom we'd normally have a different block that wasn't soul sand and then we'd place kelp on it and plant it all the way to the top and as you can see here it's planted on the soul sand we'd then go in and break all the kelp and that changes all of those uh, the flowing water to a bubble column and as you can see I got shot right up there because that is now a bubble column so that is one of the changes you can now plant kelp on top of soul sand which makes bubble columns a lot easier as a contrast to the farms we're going to see today, I thought I'd build up a very quick version of a 1.15 farm. You may have seen this kind of stuff before, uh, but this is just for comparison for the kind of thing we're going to build today. Now, to make it easy to see what happens, I'm going to speed up the, the random ticks. So that means that plants will grow a bit faster. And as you can see, we've got kelp planted at the bottom. It grows up and when it gets when it reaches the observers here, that will trigger the pistons below that break the kelp. They then float up into the water streams and then get uh, pushed over here into some hoppers at the back and into a chest for storage. And as you can see here, the redstone is super simple. Uh, the observer here into some redstone into a block and then a, a, a piston there which will do the breaking of the kelp so that is super cool now let's turn the speed back to normal just by pressing that right there okay that's back to normal uh, normal speed so over here let's talk about one of the changes in 1.16 the other change should i say and that is that we can now use bone meal to bone meal kelp so let me uh, break that right now just for demonstration but under over here we've got a dispenser filled with uh, bone meal and what we can do now is we can see that there is the a, 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 a kelp block there kelp plant we've only there's only one high but if I press this button, it grows up by one, one more block. If I press it again, it grows up by one more block. And every time, in fact, that we dispense it with bone meal, it will grow one stage or one, one block up each time you press this. So the basis of our farm is that we are going to be bone mealing our kelp blocks so they grow up, as you can see here. And then once they reach uh, the right height, we can then uh, use some other mechanics there, some other redstone to break it with a, with, a, with a piston. Of course, all the items then float up to the very top and then we can capture them for storage uh, a bit later on now with the kelp blocks they can grow up to a maximum of 25 blocks high that's the biggest they can grow and that's why you see a lot of these farms they, they go up quite high because we want to try and capture as much growth as we can before we break them but anyway that's that's uh, that's for a bit later on but next i want to talk about this one this is uh, the first farm i built here when i was sort of experimenting around uh, with the new kelp mechanics and this is a little nano farm so let me show you show you it in action and then i'll show you how to build it 
First of all, let's check out the size. This thing is pretty small. So it's five blocks across the front there, and then it's six blocks high, and it's only five blocks deep. So this thing is not very big at all. There's a bit of redstone in the back there, but not very com complicated. Only a few basic blocks there. That's uh, pretty straightforward to set up. So let's see it in action. So we can flip it on right here, turn it all on. And as you can see, we've got a kelp plant at the, at the front here at the bottom with a dispenser behind. That's got the bone mill, and that is constantly dispensing bone mill onto it, growing it up. And then every time we have a piston that goes across here, breaks the kelp, and of course the kelp item flows up here across the water and into this chest into here for storage so that is pretty cool now for this farm you're going to get uh, around 5100 kelp per hour that is pretty good you know comparing that you know look at the size of this thing compared to what you get out of it that is pretty good going as long as you've got the bone mill to uh, to supply to it and uh, around the back here we've also got a and uh, got an automatic shutoff system in here which we'll show you in a second and here is the dispenser with the bone mill inside so once this runs out that will trigger that system so what I might do is in fact let's just take out uh, a lot of this stuff let's take out all of this and and show you the uh, the auto shut off uh, in in the in all its glory so if you come around here it should run out any second now and then when it does there we go it stops automatically the light at the top there goes out so if you uh, if you leave this running and come back to it you'll see the lamp goes out if you're out of bone mill so you just have to re just have to replace it and it will automatically start again there's also an on and off switch if you want to stop it whenever you like so that is the farm pretty good going pretty cool so let's let's build this up and i'll show you step by step how to build this so let's start off with a single block and uh, when I'm building this up, any block that you see that is actually glass, then that uh, that can be any block at all in the game. It doesn't have to be glass, but I like to use glass because I like to see what's going on inside. So this is what you need to build first of all. So a block at the bottom, three blocks around it, and then a dispenser at the back. Make sure that's a dispenser and not a dropper. That's very important. And then you can put some water in here and then put your your put your kelp in there already. So there's our, there's our, our first stage right there. Next up, you need to uh, play, place um, some more glass along the top. So put another glass block here we need to get a piston and put that on top of the dispenser then put a glass block either side of that as well and then put some water in there too just like that then we're going to go up another block so another glass block here one here and one on top of the piston then get any solid block and place that next to it just like that and then that's going to be where we put our lever so grab your leather and place it on that block right like that and then get a chest put one there and one next to it for a double chest then get a hopper that goes into the back of the chest just like that and that's where your kelp is going to end up then we place um, some more glass so place glass blocks on here here and here and then along the front here and here and then one at the back there so that should give you a little waterway like that then get your water and then put uh, another block of water another water source here next to the solid block and then one on top of this and you can see it should flow over just like that and then this is the rough shape of how things will be then you can put uh, on top of on top of the, uh, the, the, the this waterway here put two glass blocks here then get, get, grab yourself a redstone lamp and place that on the top here so we put a roof on the top just to make sure that when the kelp flows up it doesn't flow out of the system so we put a roof on the top just to make sure we capture all the kelp plants next up go around the back and place three hoppers into this dispenser so one two and three then get yourself a double chest and put it on this top hopper just like this and that means that uh, your your chests here will all be lined up the top one here is for your kelp and this one here is for your bone mill now if you wanted to uh, reduce the number of hoppers you can get rid of these two and just have one hopper and have your chest going on top of it just means that your chest for for, uh, for refilling is slightly around the back but that's okay that will still work next up let's get some bone mill into our into our system so get a whole bunch of bone mill Put it, put it into your chest as much as you've got and that will start uh, flowing into the dispenser just like that you should see that going in then you get a couple of glass blocks and put it on top of these hoppers just to cover them just to make sure that no other items go in there uh, by mistake and break the system next up let's work on the clock that is going to fire the dispenser and also the uh, the piston above so put two blocks next to the uh, piston just like that get yourself an observer and make sure it's facing upwards just like that so you get the red dot underneath and you get the, the kind of face on the top just like that then underneath put a solid block underneath the the observer just like that and then we're going to have another block underneath diagonally down over here and that's going to have a repeater on it and put that on the second setting just like that that should go into a solid block just like that and then get yourself some redstone dust goes on top of there 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 and also on top of the observer just like that and that is actually going to start the clock going so you can see now that uh, our, our, our kelp farm is actually working and we can turn it off by flipping the lever just like that
So how does this little circuit work? Well, there's quite a lot to it, but it's actually quite small. So let's uh, let's talk about it quickly. So when we uh, flip this lever up, what's going to happen is the redstone behind here is going to depower. So that allows these these blocks here to depower and allows the the the, uh, the piston there to retract, uh, so we can grow some more bone meal. At the same time, the the observer here notices that the redstone has changed, so it powers this block, which is right next door to the uh, the dispenser, which uh, which will dip, dispense bone meal onto the kelp, which allows it to grow because the piston's already out of the way and the water's had time to flow down because you need to have water Water above the above the kelp for it to grow otherwise they won't do that of course then at the same time as this block has been powered we then start powering this uh, repeater but it's got a four game tick delay before it starts powering this block up here which then powers this block up here which then powers the the, uh, the piston so it can break and uh, yeah then it then it will break the the kelp and of course then the the powered redstone now is then noticed by the observer and then of course we go through that cycle again over and over again uh, uh, with the, the dispensing of the bone meal onto the plants so as you can see here um, you can actually see that the water doesn't look like it actually it actually falls down it looks like it's constantly stuck but it's actually just enough time uh, for it to be registered as being being grown up so that's probably as fast as you can do it that's why we've had this delay if we uh, if we turn this to, uh, to to not have a delay you can see it goes super quick but uh, no bone no uh, no kelps come up because we're not giving it enough time for the water to flow down so make sure this repeater is not like this make sure it's on the second setting like this to give the to give it everything enough time for it to work and there you go it can still you can still see it working just fine Next up, let's add the auto shutoff system. This is optional, but I think it's well worth adding. So put a block next to this block right here and then get a, uh, a comparator and put it on top of that block facing outwards. That will tell us when that when the dispenser is empty. So that powers this block and then we put a torch on top of that. So while there's items in there, this torch will be depowered and won't have any effect on the system. Then we have a block on top of that and then another redstone torch on top of that. Then another solid block on top of that and then uh, connect up that solid block with uh, with the redstone lamp here and then put three redstone dust on top so the, the the lamp now should turn on so that means we've got bone meal but then uh, when this when this is empty that will then end up depowering this block which then powers this torch so when the torch is powered all of this redstone will be on and that will stop the clock from from continuing we then uh, that that signal is then taken up into this block which then depowers this which then depowers the uh, the redstone uh, above here the redstone dust up here which then depowers the lamp so when that goes off we know we are out of bone mill so that's pretty cool and that is it all working so now we can turn this thing on and yeah as soon as we run out of bone mill it will turn off automatically and then when we want to turn it off ourselves we can do it with that just like that before we get to the bigger farm over there, I wanted to show you this this kind of prototype. So this is what I worked on uh, in between this one, the the little nano farm, and the bigger one over there. Uh, this is what I came up with. So I just wanted to show you this, show you this working as a as a kind of proof of concept. Now this one does actually work as a kelp farm itself. So this will give you 8,620 kelp per hour, roughly speaking, and has an on-off switch, so we can turn it on like that. And as you can see here, the kelp grows up uh, all the way up here, kind of grows up roughly to the top up there. And then when it grows all the way to the top, um, the kelp will be broken by a piston. There you go, and all the items float up and then it carries on so the way this works is pretty similar to uh, what we've got over there we've got a dispenser behind the kelp just like that and then some hoppers going into it with some chests here filled with bone meal so that's where that comes from and then behind in this all of this redstone here it's a little bit hard to see but there's actually two different clocks here so there's one clock that controls the piston that is this uh, this is a hopper clock right here and this hopper clock has got 24 items in it and then whenever this block here above moves then this this the, this observer detects it which then powers the piston so that's how that works so that's on the, that's on that kind of cycle uh, on a clock and then over here we have another clock that powers the uh, powers the dispenser and basically with this one we have uh, an observer clock so these two observers facing each other gives us an observer observer clock but obviously you can see here this is really fast uh, we had to actually slow this down because that points into you can't actually see it but uh, if I turn this off in fact just like that we can see in here we have a we have a repeater and it's actually on the second setting so that means that's a four game tick clock and we do that because we want to uh, fire this um, dispenser every four game ticks and that allows um, the new the new uh, bone meal from this from the storage to get into here if that was firing any quicker then we'd be using up the bone meal too quickly and in fact what would happen is this dispenser drains out slowly over time and uh, yeah can't be refilled quick enough by the hoppers because we're limited by hopper speed so basically this is what I did uh, next this is kind of the next kind of evolution if you like and this yeah this works fine but then I wanted to kind of scale this up and kind of tile tie all these next to each other and that's how uh, this one was born uh, this is basically it's very similar to that there's a few changes to it um, and actually it's a little easier to see uh, but yeah this one has got some other challenges but yeah let's get into this let's explain how it works and I'll show you how to build it 
Before we do the block by block tutorial, let me give you a quick uh, a quick fly around, a quick tour of this, and uh, hopefully it will make some sense based on what we've already uh, gone through. So here we have, obviously, we have all the kelp plants and they are tiled next to each other, and actually they are planted on top of the dispensers. So the reason for that is that we have uh, access both sides, so uh, we can control some redstone on this side, and then we can feed some hoppers into it on this side uh, to feed up with the, uh, with the with the bone meal that we need. So that's, uh, that's the bottom part of it. And then uh, around this side, uh, we have a lot we had before we have the two clocks so we have our hopper clock over here uh, exactly the same as before this has got 24 items in it and every time this hopper clock moves over you can see we have a repeater there to make sure we get uh, 15 um, signal strength so we've got 15 kelp blocks here and that will um, light up and uh, and, uh, and and depower this redstone um, the observers here see that and then they power the uh, power the pistons here through quasi connectivity so uh, for those who don't know if you power the block diagonally like this that will still power uh, the pistons so that just gives us enough space to do what we need underneath and then uh, just like we did before we have our observer clock right here very straightforward and again we have our, our repeater here on the second setting to give us four game ticks and again this is over here and um, uh, lighting up this uh, redstone line all the way to the end with these observers uh, looking at that and again they use quasi connectivity uh, these observers here to power the uh, the dispensers underneath and then that will yeah that will uh, bone mill the plants and so that's why all the plants grow up all in unison because they're all being uh, bone milled exactly the same time on the same clock and then we have the the pistons on the second clock so when they get to the top roughly there there we go they get broken and all the items float up because all of this all of the water in here is uh, is a uh, water sources so they all float up not super fast like a bubble column but they will all make it up in the end and then they go across and end up into these chests over here for yeah for storage so this farm is pretty straightforward and quite easy to build. We'll do the step by step in a second. Uh, but before we do that, let's talk about a couple of uh, challenges you're going to have. And this depends really on how big you make this farm. So if you can, you can make it this big with 15 kelp blocks. You can also make it bigger. Um, you can put repeaters at the end of the uh, end of the uh, uh, the redstone lines on the back and make it bigger if you like. Um, you can also make it smaller, of course. Just have a couple of uh, of kelp blocks if you if uh, kelp plants if you like. Uh, but the real challenge here is supplying with bone meal. So here we've got uh, all of these chests and so each dispenser has their own dedicated line of hoppers because uh, the, t the clock we've got at the back there is hopper speed so we need to maintain that hopper um, speed uh, of uh, bone meal going into each dispenser and there's the storage we've got here so one double chest the two hoppers and uh, the dispenser itself all of that storage that will last you just over 30 minutes of running this farm so although it produces a lot <laughs> per hour you also need a lot of uh, bone meal so you're basically converting one bone meal for one kelp so if you want a lot of um, kelp out of this you need to put in a lot of bone meal that's just the way this uh, this particular farm works so um so think about how much uh, bone meal you can supply think about um how you're going to get the bone meal and then maybe tailor um your your the size of this farm to how much you can actually give it um you could all, obviously if you've got you know tons of bone meal you can obviously add add more storage on top of this more more chests more hoppers you can also design your own solution um to to feed these uh, items but i didn't want to get too complicated i wanted to kind of keep this nice and simple uh, for the tutorial so that's the first the first issue that you're going to have to deal with depending on how you build your farm the other one of course is then the the reverse of that which is the item collection so at the moment again i've got one hopper per per um one hopper per uh, kelp block and a, a kelp plant shall i say and that's um that's great basically because um, because we're going at hopper speed each hopper can pick up 9,000 items and so you're going to need around 15 hoppers uh, to pick up all of the items this produces if you build a farm of this size so at the moment yeah that's this just goes into all of these hoppers and for storage and that all just works fine um, but of course you might want to drop these into your water stream and send them off somewhere else you might want to have some other storage solution again that really depends on how big you build the farm so again wanted to keep this nice and simple and straightforward for the tutorial but uh, yeah you're obviously free to customize this how, how, how you like and deal with the bone mill and the item collection depending on what suits your needs so let me show you how to build this thing if you want to build this in your own world and what you need to do is start off with 15 dispensers make sure they're dispensers and not droppers all facing upwards all next to each other just like that in a row 15 of those then um, have some glass around it like i've got here one one glass block here and then 15 glass over here and another glass at the end just like that and then have another 15 observers uh, facing away from the uh, from the from the dispensers uh, so that so you see this red dot that is here just above the dispensers just like that once you've done that then get yourself 15 pistons and put them all across on top of the um the observers just like that then get some more glass around all of this just like this fit all of this in like that and then get yourself some hoppers and for each dispenser put two hoppers down just like this all the way along and then get yourself some storage so get yourself some chests and put them on top of each of the hoppers just like this 
Once all the storage is in around the front for the bone mill, hop around the back and then add a line of blocks diagonally downwards from the observers just like this, and then put 15 redstone dust on top all the way along to the very end. Now I've, I've used glass here, just got to think it looks cool, but you can use anything you like, um, no problem there. Next up, what you need to do is put um, a block one away from the pistons, just like that, and then put this line all the way along right to the very end. So 15 blocks, one away from the piston, just like that, and then cover this with redstone dust all the way along, right to the very end just like that and then get yourself some observers and then we're going to place 15 observers on top of the pistons uh, but diagonally upwards so a good thing here is you can target the uh, redstone and place them all along here so 15 of these all the way along right to the very end and once you've done that get yourself some glass and then we're going to put glass on top of all of the pistons all the way along all 15 all along like that and then also around the side and around the front to encase all of this so no water can escape with all the glass in place, we're now going to make our tank a bit taller. So now on top of these blocks, we need to go 22 uh, more blocks on top. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So you need to do that all the way around, all four sides, and then you should have a nice tall tank. Once you've built up your tank all the way around to 22 blocks, on the very top block, just like this, fill that in with a temporary block. We're going to remove that shortly. And then come around to the back so you're above the uh, the observers. And then come three blocks back on this side and also three blocks back on this side. And then put a temporary block and then a block over here. So it's like that. And then join all of these up all the way along to the very end like that. And then get yourself some chests. And then what you need to do here is put a chest down here and here and then get an, get a uh, get a hopper and go in here so basically do this all the way along so you've got chests and hoppers all the way along just like this and then put one more layer of glass along the front wall just like this so it's all at the same level then get yourself some water and place it on top of these uh, temporary blocks all the way along just like this so then we should have a whole bunch of water sources along there on top of this dirt flowing this way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to break all of the dirt just like this. That will that will mean all of the uh, water will flow down all the way into our tank. But what we do need to do is, this is very tricky here, is to make sure we've got water sources all the way down. Now the kelp will grow up to this block right here, but not this one. So if you go one block down and make sure we place water sources on these blocks as well with a bucket just like this. And then... Grab your kelp plant and then go all the way to the bottom of your tank and place it on top of the uh, dispensers. You'll have to press shift so you don't open the container, but then that's all you need to do. The last thing we need to do is to add a roof on the top of this thing, and that is to make sure that all of the kelp is kept is kept inside the farm and doesn't fly out, which is definitely possible. So yeah, so add a roof along the top all the way along, all 15 blocks, and make sure you're covering uh, the, full, the full length of the water just like that. Next up is the clock that's going to control the pistons. So come around the back and on this top redstone line, put a block next to this block here and then put a repeater on top of that. Then get yourself a redstone block and that goes next to the repeater. So it's like that. Then get yourself some hoppers. Put one hopper temporarily underneath the redstone block and then one going into it. Then we can get rid of this one and put another hopper this way. So you have two hoppers pointing into each other just like that. Then get yourself a temporary block, put it underneath this hopper and then put a block next to it. Likewise, next to, next to this hopper, one under there, one there. So we have two two blocks next to the hoppers just like that then get yourself some comparators one goes on there one goes on there so they're uh, pointing away from the hoppers and next to them just like that then you get two solid blocks one goes here next to that comparator one on here next to that one and then put some redstone dust on top of the solid blocks then get yourself some sticky pistons one goes here on this redstone and one goes on here next to this redstone just like that then you need to get yourself 24 items so go into this hopper grab 24 items as long as they're stackable items that goes in there and then that should start this clock going and now for the last bit of redstone, we're going to add the clock that's going to control the dispensers. So on this bottom line of redstone, add a block next to it here and then add a redstone repeater and then put that on the second setting just like that. Then it gets a temporary block and put it next to the repeater just like that and then an observer facing that temporary block. Then we can remove that and put another uh, observer facing there just like that. Then get a sticky piston and put it next to this one and face it just like this. Get rid of that. There we go. And then put a solid block next to the piston with a lever on it. That will enable us to turn this clock on and off just like that but we want to wire this one up to this clock over here so what we're going to do now is we're going to add another block on top of this and then we're going to have a block just here like that and then we're going to put a redstone repeater on top of this block and then a solid block in front of that repeater and then a solid block behind it just like that and then get some redstone dust on here and here and that should link up the two clocks with the with the switch so now you can turn both clocks on and off just with that lever 
And the last thing to do is to go to your input chest and fill them with uh, as much bone meal as you can find. So you've got to do that for all of your chests. Now, if you don't have that, if you don't have that much bone meal, what you could do is you could not have the chest like this. You could, in fact, do it like this. So one chest is covering uh, two hoppers just like that and put that along. Obviously, you can have some other solutions like some shulker boxes or that kind of thing. But I'll leave that up to you. But basically, fill in all of your input uh, with all the with all the bone meal, and then you're ready to turn this thing on. And there we have it, our kelp farm is working. I've just turned it on and as you can see, the kelp is growing up in unison and it, as, as it gets broke at the bottom, all the items float all the way to the top. And that's because all of the water here is now water sources. Uh, when we built it, we just put a couple of water sources at the very top, one at the top there to flow uh, into the chests and then one, one, uh, one level down. But of course, as the kelp grows up, it will turn all of those uh, flowing waters uh, into water sources. So now all of the items can float all the way up and then go into storage at the very back. And that is super cool. Look at all these items. <laughs> <laughs> so much kelp so that is super cool so there we have it a brand new kelp farm for 1.16 i hope you found the video interesting and if you want to build this for yourself of course we have the tutorial here but also there will be a world download link in the description so you can download this world for yourself and try it out and take a closer look and see what you think so i hope you find the, the video useful and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please hit the like button and if you're new then feel free to subscribe and if you've got any comments or suggestions then get in that comment section all right my geeks until next time i will see you later